WhatsApp coders. Welcome to One Little Coder. In this Python tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a Python library called PV Recorder to record your audio file from your computer. Recording audio using Python is not an easy task because Python doesn't give you any inbuilt library to access it. And there are a lot of good third party libraries available to do the same. And one of the libraries that we are going to see today is PV Recorder which is quite accessible across devices like even Raspberry Pi. So the first step is to install the library pip or pip3 depending upon which operating system you have got pip install pv recorder. Once you install pv recorder, the next step is for you to load the required libraries. So we need to load from pv recorder import pv note the uppercase and smaller case pv recorder then import wave and struct. These are like helper functions for us to store the file at the end of the recording. Once we have loaded all the required libraries, the next step is for us to load all the audio input devices on your computer. So in a computer, typically you have got an audio input device and you have got an audio output device. So for example, if you have got a laptop by default, you would have at least one microphone, which is an audio input device. But there are a lot of softwares which also would install an audio input device inside your laptop. For example, in my case, I've got a zoom audio input. I've got camo microphone. I've got Irenium microphone and I've got like a lot of these audio input devices. So it's important for you to first display all the audio input devices that you have got. So once I run this thing, you can see that it lists all the audio input device. Now what you have to do is you have to make a choice from which audio input device you want to capture the audio. That means if you want to record, which is the microphone that you want to use to record. For example, a few people might have a specialist microphone for their, uh, let's say, video recording or audio recording and few for office calls and few for something else. So everybody has a different taste of microphone. Sometimes some microphones could be connected to a, um, an external audio device in itself. So just make sure what is the index of the microphone that you want. 80 nano in my case is the zeroth device. Um, Plantronics is the first device and then MacBook and then you have got a bunch of devices available. So now decide on which microphone that you want to record. In my case, I'm going to go ahead with MacBook Pro microphone device 2. So I'm going to say my device that I want to record is device 2. If you are not sure about any device, if you give minus one, that is going to take the default device available on your computer. Irrespective of how many audio devices that you have got, every computer has got a default audio device that is configured on the settings. So that will be used if you give device index minus one. But if you are already very clear about what device that you want to use, stick to device index that particular device that you selected from this above list. The next thing is you need to decide on the frame length. Frame length is particularly decided based on the amount of data that you want to collect. So in this case is a 32 milliseconds of 16 kilohertz audio. If you, you can play with the frame second depending upon what kind of audio format that you are expecting. So now these are the two important things that you need to decide and wrap this inside like as an argument for PV recorder which we imported here. So PV recorder and that initializes a new object called recorder. So now you have got the recorder device initialized. You have got the audio empty. Next thing is you need to define a path or the file name where you want to store this file. So I want to store this file as a, an audio underscore recording dot wave file in my current working directory. That's why I've got this path here. The next thing is um, write a slightly decent code where we start the audio recorder. So now you have captured the device here. You, you have instant in, initiated the device or instantiated the device. Next, you have to start the device. You have to start the recorder device while the recorder device is on, while the recording is captured, you need to continuously read the input from the recorder device. That's why you're doing recorder.read and then collect it in frame and add it to the audio. So that's how this gets stored inside this audio. Once there is a keyboard in interruption or if you're going to stop it, like for example, in the Jupyter notebook, then stop the recorder, save the audio file where we decided to save and finally delete the recorder, which means you free up this device for some other process in your computer to use. And that is exactly what we are going to do. 
to quickly take you through the code once again first you capture the device the next thing is you need to define an empty list to collect the audio then define the file path where you want to store the audio then start the recorder while the recorder is on collect the information or read the information from the recorder that's coming in add it to the frame add that frame to the audio so that you have the stream of audio and then when there is a keyboard interruption stop the recorder save the file in the defined file path and then finally delete the recorder instance which means the device would be freed up for any other process in your computer to use the audio so i'm going to i'm going to run this and the moment i'm going to run this i'm going to also say what i want to try to run it so let me run this for example this is an audio test using Python. This is the first time I'm recording an audio using Python. I hope this goes well because there are two devices that I'm currently using, one for the video recording and one for the audio recording. Let me stop this. So I've stopped it, which means we have got the audio recording.wave file and let's see how it has got recorded. So I'm going to play that for you. I'm going to find, find, find audio recording.wave. I'm going to open it audio recording dot wave this is an audio test using python this is the first time i'm recording an audio using python i hope this goes well because there are two devices that i'm currently using one for the video recording and one for the audio recording let me stop this this is an audio test using python as you can see the recording has happened very well which means now you can use this audio recording to call an invoke command. You can use this audio recording to do speech to text. You can do a lot of things. For example, you are on a Zoom call. You want to capture what people are talking using the Zoom call, using a different microphone that you have got and you want to transcribe it later on. So the potential that you have got is enormous because of course this is Python and all you have to do is pip install PV recorder and import PV recorder and then follow the rest of the instruction that we just discussed. This code will be linked in the YouTube description for you to play with. But again, if you have got any other question feel free to let me know in the comment section i hope this was helpful to you in learning how to record an audio and i've got separate tutorials about audio transcription using whisper using other libraries i would recommend you to check it out if you're building an end-to-end -end asr automatic speech recognition or speech to text solution using python see you in the next video happy python coding